Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I made my Lady Gaga telephone inspired outfit, fancy dress outfit. <laughs> um, I'm going to be talking through how I created the dress, the bag, the shoes and the headpiece, that's the hat and the telephone. Um, so yeah. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is Lady Gaga's dress. Um, in the telephone video she wears this plastic dress which is quite straight but I kind of wanted to recreate the dress that she wore on stage which had the like sticky outsides. I don't think that's a technical term but you know what I mean, it's a bit more interesting so I thought I'd go for that design. Um, the first thing I had to do was obviously find some plastic to make the dress. The best plastic I found was from an agricultural website which was used to supply plastic to make those, you know, those big industrial sized greenhouses, the big dome ones that you see. Um, yeah, the plastic was really good, it was really thick and it was the same kind of opacity as the Lady Gaga dress. So I thought, yeah, this is really great plastic, I'll use this. Um, I'll leave a link to the plastic down below and the measurements that I bought. I don't think it was that expensive, so I definitely recommend getting that plastic for the dress. So these are the actual measurements that I used to create my dress. Um, they're all in inches, and it's kind of a really basic design. So if you look on the picture, the green line at the top, that's where you fold the plastic in half. So it's kind of a tabard style dress. Um, the red down the side is where I stitched it together. So yeah, it's quite an easy dress to make. This would fit a size 8, 10, 12, that's UK sizes. Um, but when I tried to put it on, I didn't want to kind of rip it while I was trying to put it on. So the blue line at the top there, that was where I cut a big slit down the back of it to make it easier to get on. And then I used a length of plastic to tie it like around my waist and kind of cinch it all in, hold it together. Yeah, I thought this worked really well. What I would say though is if you're going to sew it together, don't use a sewing machine because it'll be too vicious and it'll rip the plastic. You're going to have to sew it by hand, which does take quite a while, but I think it kind of works really well. So yeah, you just sew it down, fold it on the green line, sew it down the red lines, and then obviously just flip it inside out to cover the seams. And yeah, I think thought it was really easy to make. Don't forget to obviously cut out the hole in the middle for your head and leave in the gaps at the top for your arms. But yeah, they're all in inches, these sizes, so if you want to pause it and use those measurements, um, feel free, you know, it worked for me, so yeah. So next up is probably my favourite part of the outfit, and it is the shoes that I made. Uh, so on the left, they are the actual shoes Lady Gaga wore in the video, they're in the telephone video. They're kind of like really tall, chunky platform boots that look like they've been covered in plaster, so I thought they'd be really easy to recreate. So on the right hand side, they are my shoes. They don't look exactly the same, but I think they're really cool. And yeah, I'll show you how I made those. So the first thing you want to do is obviously find yourself a pair of shoes as the base for your shoe. So these ones here are the ones I use. They are basically pole dancing shoes that I found on eBay. <laughs> um, yeah, they were, I think they were about 30 pounds. So they weren't very expensive. They come in red or black. <laughs> I think the red ones were cheaper, so I thought I'd get the red ones, because at the end of the day, you're not going to see them. They're going to be hidden inside the shoe you're going to be making. Um, yeah, I thought these are really great. They've got a 7-inch heel and a 3-inch platform. So because of the big platform, they were actually... They didn't feel that high, but they were quite hard to walk in, because obviously they are really tall, so you felt quite unstable. <laughs> but yeah, I thought these were great shoes to use. Um, so yeah, find any pair of shoes that you'd like to use, um, but yeah, I'll leave a link to these ones down below, if they're still available, there might be, or just go onto eBay, type pole dancing shoes, and something along the lines of these <laughs> should come up. So here are three pictures of me making the shoe, um, the first picture shows the kind of basic boot that I made, basically what I did was I got strips of cardboard, I think they were just from like a cereal packet, I think it was Rice Krispies, <laughs> I can kind of see, but yeah, get loads of strips of cardboard, make the shape of your shoe with the strips of cardboard and then like stick them in place with either glue or sellotape. I use masking tape here so I covered the shoe in masking tape to finish it off to make this boot design. Um, I left a big hole at the top so number one I could get my foot in and number two so I could make sure the shoe was fastened up and yeah that was my basic design. The second thing I did was cover the shoe in cling film. This was to waterproof it for the plaster of Paris because I didn't want the water to seep through then completely mush up all the cardboard, <laughs> like the shape of the shoe. The last thing I did was cover it in plaster of Paris. 
I got some plaster of Paris strips off eBay. Um, basically what they are is strips of material covered in plaster of Paris. All you do is dip them in water and then mould them onto anything. In this case it was my shoe. I thought they worked really well. Um, I only used like one or two coats of them. Like layers of them should I say. And yeah they set really hard. It gives a great like look to the shoe. And I think I, I painted it white at the end. I didn't think I needed to though because it was quite cream anyway. But yeah. That was my finished shoe. So here's a picture of my finished shoes. Um, I really love these shoes. As you can tell, um, well you know how they had a big gap at the top, I thought, what can I use to cover this big gap? Because obviously you could see straight into the shoe and it looked a bit messy. So I just used some netting. This was like mosquito netting that was hanging up on my window, you know, to kind of stop flies coming in. I just screwed it up and put it around the top. I thought it really finished off the shoe. Um, I hope you like these shoes, I absolutely love them, they're probably the best shoes I've ever made, um, I think they're really great and they go with my outfit perfectly, um, yeah, so these are my finished shoes. So next up is the handbag that I made to go with my outfit, this bag took me forever to make and oh, it was a nightmare, basically I cut out two triangles of plastic um, for the sides and then a length of plastic which was the same length as the circumference of the triangles. I sewed it all together. Um, I think I used about three or four layers of it making this bag so it would obviously look a bit thicker and so you can see all the way through it but I'd probably just recommend buying a Furla candy bag. That should be appearing in the top left hand of your screen right now. Yeah, it, <laughs> I mean if you want to make the bag to match the dress you can do but it took me forever. So just buy a candy bag or go on eBay, add no type in plastic style handbag and one might come up a bit cheaper if you just wanted this outfit but yeah seriously took me forever to make I'm happy with it but it did take me a long time so the next thing I'm going to talk you through is the headdress so that includes the kind of chef hat and the telephone um, and I'll just kind of quickly go through how I made those so for the chef hat I got a two litre coke bottle chopped off the top and the bottom making sure I left two tabs at the bottom just so I could secure it to a headband I then got a length of plastic, curled it into a cylinder shape, put it on top and then I also left two tabs at the bottom of the plastic. This was to basically, um, they were to be used to secure the hat onto my hair so I used bobby pins and like kind of pinned the tabs under my hair to hold it in place and that was it really. The telephone on my head was made out of two scrunched up balls of newspaper and then a roll of newspaper to make a telephone shape. I I thought I covered it in plaster of Paris but I think there's a bit of papé mache going on there as well. All I did then was left it to dry, painted it white and added a telephone cable. Um, the telephone cable kind of gave it a realistic telephone look and I also used that to secure it to my head. You could use an actual telephone but I thought if it's going to be made out of plastic or whatever it's going to be too heavy so this was a really good substitute for that. Some finishing touches were Lady Gaga's tattoos, I mean at the time she didn't have as many as she has now but all I did was the ones on my her arm should I say, so I did the writing on the top of my left arm and then the one on the left wrist, I just used some black eyeliner to draw these on, so yeah really quick and easy to do and I think they look quite realistic from quite a way away. My hair is naturally like blonde anyway so I didn't have to use a wig but all I did do was use some of this neon yellow hairspray paint kind of stuff for my hair. Um, I use some blue nail varnish and some bright pink lipstick. I'll leave the links to these down below so you can have a look. So yeah there is my finished Lady Gaga outfit. Um, I know Lady Gaga kind of wears some pants and then kind of like just two little crosses over her boobs and that's all she wears. I thought that was a bit inappropriate so I wore an American apparel like black bodysuit. The crosses I just made with white electrical tape and then I just wore some fishnets. So yeah, that was my finished outfit. I hope you liked it. And here are a few more pictures of when I went out. So it was for my birthday. I went out with a few friends. We all dressed up. We went down a local pub that I used to work in. And it was a bit crazy because nobody else was dressed up apart from about seven of us. We looked a bit crazy. But yeah, it was great fun. It was a great outfit to make. It was really fun to wear. So yeah, I hope this has given you some inspiration for... A fancy dress outfit that you may be planning. I've kind of done this video at the wrong time, I mean it would have been a bit more appropriate to do it before Halloween, you know, before Christmas, the whole party season, before New Year's, but it will give you time to make it for next year I suppose. Um, if you like this video please please give me a thumbs up because I'd love more people to see this video. I mean I love Lady Gaga, 
I really want to kind of inspire people to make crazy outfits. So yeah, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you're planning on making this outfit. And I'd love to see if anybody else makes this plastic dress. So yeah, um, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.